this is a very short explanation of what is usually called the RK4 or the Runge Kotta fourth order method. Everything you need to know about the method is on this one slide, but it's given in more detail in the accompanying notes as well. Let's, let's look at the picture first. So what we're really trying to do is to start at the point T1 and go to T1 plus H, where H is the step size we take in time, and see what ends, where we end up over there. Now we could do something very naive. We know the first derivative of our equation, which is given by f, and we can take a step in this size, which would end us up outside the screen, which is not good news. So what we do instead, we take half a step. So we follow the red dotted line until the midpoint, t1 plus h over 2, we see we're somewhat off the line, and we calculate actually the derivative over there. Then we say, ooh, we could actually have worked with, it, with the derivative at the midpoint and worked out instead what happens over there. So we can also calculate a similar quantity, but now with k1, k1 being the original derivative, so, we, so this is the original y1 plus k1, k1 over 2 is actually this point over here we're working with, and then calculate the derivative at that point, and then use the derivative at that point, to correct for the fact that we use k1, we actually use k2 to calculate the point, so that's what we get over here, and then we take half the step that way. So essentially we've done two things, and neither of those are incredibly good, they're somewhat in between, and essentially so what we can then do is take one more step, we go now take a step all the way to the end, so it's length k3, so this is based on the derivative at the third point, and essentially we end up at the blue point over there, which still is not perfect, but we can once again calculate the derivative. And with the information of what happens at this point, this point, that point, and that point, so the derivatives of these points times h are called k1, k2, k3, and k4, we can actually take a very interesting combination of the two, and you can actually work out for yourself that this is a very good idea, the combination we take, we take the final point, the y at the final point is actually the original point, plus this interesting combination of k1, k2, k3, and k4. So k1 and k4 only are weighed once, the two internal points are weighed double, and we divide by 6, and if I do the calculation, and this is a real calculation I've done over here, I end up with a red point, and if you compare that to the blue curve, which is the curve for the function I'm actually working with, you can see that's an incredibly good, albeit never perfect, approximation.